Hey, wh- wh- where are you guys? Hello? Oh, okay. I see you guys hiding from me up in the trunk. We are here, guys. Come take a walk with me. Come take a walk with me. We need to have a serious conversation about this next model. We are actually going to tour right now. So I'm going to snap my fingers and we'll be right in front of that house. All right. We are here, guys. My name is Brandon Polito. I'm a realtor, part of the Prasad Group. Let's get straight into this. Today, I'm actually taking you guys on a really, really special tour of my actual dream home. This is 3177 square feet, just over 3000. This is a four bedroom, three and a half bath. So I'm not going to waste any time, guys. This is the home that I see myself in one day. It's called the Griffin Model. We're looking at just over half a million dollars. 530 is starting. Different elevations call for different prices. But guys, this is actually in Mineola, Florida. So if you guys are familiar with Mineola, sorry, we'll wait for this truck to go by. If you guys are familiar with Mineola, Florida, you guys know that it's just not even a few minutes away from actually Claremont. Still really good price points. You guys see this neighborhood is completely developing currently. And they actually offer this beautiful, beautiful model. Let's get into all the details. As soon as we enter, we see a huge, huge flex slash dining room. Ceilings are super tall in this sense. And just wait till we get to the actual living area, guys. Now, I'm going to give you guys a lot of info in this model. So make sure you're ready. Take notes, be prepared, and let's do it. Now, these homes are available, right? They have a few actually going to be done construction very, very soon. So before we get into it, if you guys are actually interested in this model or any others, make sure you reach out and I'll get you situated. So like I was mentioning, we have this huge, huge flex room, right? This can actually be converted into another bedroom, right? With a full bath, it'll pretty much be right here. So then you'll be left with this little den area, just this, and then the bedroom will actually start start here, and that'll now flow into the rest of the home. But off of first impressions, this is a super, super modern home in a sense. We're actually gonna go this way, and I'll show you guys. Yes, there is a slight butler's pantry area, right? Right alongside the actual pantry. So I'm gonna set you guys down, and we'll actually take a look at what the pantry space offers. I would have preferred if they left the double door kind of situation out of this and made this a little bit deeper, but it's still sufficient. I would have just added one door, probably changed out those shelvings, and you know, you can make it work. But this is actually why I really, really love this floor plan. As we make our way to the kitchen, yes, this does have the gourmet package. So you see the oven and microwave in the wall alongside the really high tech uh, fridge. Yep, there it goes, got a scream. This is electric gas, I mean electric uh, stove community farmer sink here. And guys, let's take a look at the grand reveal. Look at this. This is exactly what the Griffin model has to offer. This is one of the many reasons why I love it and why one day you guys are gonna see me living in this home. I'm gonna make a video when I buy it. This is for sure what's gonna happen, so let's keep going. Now, all the bedrooms actually do reside upstairs, unless you were to opt out, uh, opt in rather for that bedroom downstairs. Um, so let's say, you know, you're going more of an in-law suite kind of look, at least you have a bedroom uh, downstairs that somebody can stay you, with you with. That way you don't have to pretty much just, uh, you know, deal with upstairs. Actually, before, we even get further this is actually your half bath that is downstairs which i'm glad that they decided to actually add this because this is necessary <laughs> there's no bedroom down here as of now we at least need a half bath for the guests to use really really tall door frames which i love really nice open uh to blow concept from up there we're gonna get up there guys but i want you to just take a look at this grand space here uh, these homes are highly configurable. Uh, for a better word, I'm actually going to say highly personalized as you are pretty much able to select a lot of things that other builders normally wouldn't allow you. Um, I was actually on a showing here just yesterday and one of my clients, she actually asked me if they had like that, that pasta arm. Uh, I don't know how to explain it where, you know, if you're going to fill up pots to make pasta or something, there's like a water spout that kind of folds, comes out. And you're, the builder said, hey, you're, you're, we're able to do that. And I, I've been asking a lot of builders and they weren't really uh, open to doing that. So now 
let's make our way here. We are actually going to be greeted with nothing because the door is locked, but that is your two car garage. We have a nice Harry Potter space here for storage, pretty deep under the stairs. Um, another thing with the garage situation, you are able to either add an extra storage space right to the two car or just make it a three. I would probably just make it a three car garage makes the most sense. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. We'll head upstairs and I'll go over pretty much the rest of the information. I love the railings. I love the hardwood look tile, the hardwood floors. This is really high quality stuff. Even just from the door handles, everything is super, super high quality. So now we have options. This is actually our master suite off to the left primary suite but take a look at this view guys this is just amazing i could wake up to this every single day and guess what if you don't like it you could add an actual loft that'll cover a majority of the space here and that'll really open up the actual house so especially up here on the second floor we have options like i said we're going to visit the primary suite first but just know that the rest of the three bedrooms besides the master uh reside on this side and over here but let's get into it. Double door, grand entrance entrance to pretty much be in your primary. It's not the biggest, biggest that I've seen, but you guys see that it's, you're, you're, you're good. You know, you put a nice TV there. You're gonna be fine. I'll be fine, I know that. <laughs> These are all the things I was kind of contemplating when I decided that this is gonna be the home that I purchased. Um, it's just screwing my name, I feel. I love the actual way that the bathroom is situated super super long shower i really love this it's more than enough for me the toilet's on this side here's your linen closet and they actually have a slightly bigger model that will of course push the price point up just a bit up to the six hundred thousand, and it's basically the big brother of this model so i'm gonna see if i find a model home that I can tour for you guys, but I just wanted to show you a builder that is using really, really high quality stuff. And I love the floor plan personally. Um, you know, there are a few imperfections I say. I would actually have to add that uh, bottom floor kind of bedroom just because I don't really want everything upstairs in my opinion, but at least they give you the option to do that. This would kind of be your makeshift office space. I just prefer to have it downstairs. So that's kind of where that second uh, secondary bedroom or rather uh, additional bedroom would really come handy, in my opinion, when it comes to actually, you know, making this home more livable. We have a full bath here, tiling all, all the way to the top. It's really clean. Everything is super, super solid. Here I am again. I'll show you guys more storage space so you guys can get a good look. But, you know. I've been more focusing on the affordable homes as I realized that, you know, a lot of people want to move, whether you're in Florida, out of state, out of the country, even, you know, you guys have your own reasons for wanting to actually move. And I'm just trying to show you guys options, right? I don't want to just show you guys half a million dollar, million dollar homes and up. I want to make everybody be able to find value in my content. Um, I know you guys saw the way I actually started the video. I kind of showed you guys where this community even is on the map. Uh, what's around it and i'm going to start doing more breakdowns before i even start the tour so if you guys like that little touch i added at the beginning make sure you let me know even give me a call to the phone number below if you have any tips or anything that you kind of want to touch upon that you feel like i could be doing better or things that you think i'm already doing great you just let me know you know it really keeps me going when it comes to making content like this i love it myself and i'm super super excited because this is actually home i see myself in so automatically turn you on lights this is your other primary master in a sense not as big as the other one but this is another nice uh, secondary suite that you guys see we are in the hills of mineola not even 10 minutes from claremont 10 minutes from everywhere pretty much so if you guys are looking to move to the claremont area but you know hey uh you know the price points of being that in the actual claremont zip code are a little too pricey uh at least you know there's options here that are super super nice that i stand behind and yeah guys this is pretty much what we have i'm gonna follow up with some drone shots i probably added those at the beginning but this is pretty much it this is the griffin model right uh 3177 square feet a lot of configurations you can do and remember you can extend this up here 
and make that a loft. That'll really change up the feel of the home. It'll make it bigger, but I really love this empty space here where I just feel like I'm in a museum. <laughs> I feel like, you know, it just makes it feel more luxurious to me, you know? On top of all the little upgrades, I would love to, you know, be able to congregate here and literally just, like the TV looks so small in comparison to the wall. <laughs> It looks so small and this is probably like an 85 inch TV. This is huge, but I would just, you know, I love it. I love it from every angle. To me, it kind of checks out. I love it so, so much. So yeah, I'm going to buy it eventually. Maybe not now, but I'm definitely going to be with my eyes on this model specifically. I just feel like it's really calling to me. It's not too much, right? Not too little. Um, Everything is just right, in my opinion. You can opt as well for an optional extended lanai, which this does have. And I could definitely see this having a pool in the back. This is just a model, so this is not the actual uh, piece of land that um, what's so called you can build on, per se, until they sell everything. But guys, just, just think about it, you know. Think about it. This is a pretty nice floor plan. They do give you options as far as upgrades and configurating everything. So if you don't like it the way it is, you guys already know you add a bedroom here. Make this just a little den here. Pretty much cut it in half, have another bedroom. And guys, I'm just going to do it one more time. Because when I turned the corner here, I was like, wow. Come on. Come on, guys. I, I really want to know your thoughts specifically on this one because I'm like really... Uh, in love with it in a sense when it comes to i like it so much that i would buy this if i could in all honesty with you if i'm being real so um i do have the price sheet here sorry for leaving free but the price sheet pretty much shows me that you know uh all the elevations range from five hundred and thirty six thousand dollars up to 547 uh four to six bedrooms three to four and a half baths two-story home come on it's pretty sweet now the big brother model is called the duval and that is actually 3,652 square feet, five to six bedroom, five to uh, four to five and a half. Uh, so I'm going to get a video of that uh, eventually when I actually find the model. I'll show you guys that. And we're actually looking at 571 to 580. So the range between this one and the Big Brother model, in my opinion, is not too significant. Could still stay under 600,000 base course if you add options that's a different story but to all of my va clients that have been watching the videos everybody that is in need of purchasing selling a home even finding a rental if you just need to land and touch base in florida make sure you reach out to myself in the group the number i know is probably etched into your guys brains by now <laughs> But um, yeah, I'm just here to really provide value, you know, no matter where you're coming from. I genuinely want to hear your story. I want to hear your situation and show you just where I actually fit a part of that little story. You know, later down the line, when we're actually looking back, as many of my clients tell me, you know, they tell me that, you know, there was something missing in our house search. We knew it was a realtor. We just didn't know how big of a part you were going to play in it, Brandon. So really appreciate you guys. The hair is cut. And yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you guys. And I'm out of here, right? Subscribe, like the channel. Thank you so much.